This question has uh, got some shapes on a grid, so a squared grid, and it says describe fully the single transformation. Uh, and there's the key, single transformation. Um, advice always when you're doing these kind of questions, when it says to describe fully the single transformation, write down the four possible transformations. So we have reflection, rotation, translation, and enlargement. So write these out and then in, uh, you can go through and ask yourself which one seems to be working for the question. Because when it says describe fully the single transformation, you must choose just one of these words and its associated uh, bits to show how it's actually moved. So let's have a look. Reflection. Um, if we got um, some tracing paper, we could see that it's not going to be reflection. Um, because if it went over the x-axis, then this bit would go over there. If it went over the y-axis, then this bit would be over here. And if it went through a uh, line that's at an angle, then this would be over here somewhere. So it's not going to be reflection. So we can think that it's not reflection. Rotation, um, again, no, because it would have this bottom vertex here pointing upwards in some way or pointing sidewards. So it's not a rotation. Again, we check that with the tracing paper, but we can see it's not a rotation. Now, although an enlargement of scale factor 1 would leave the shapes in um, congruent uh, sizes in, in terms of identical. Um, in Euro TCC exams, um, it's, uh, I've never seen it in the past. Um, they could ask it, but I suspect they won't. If it's ever an enlargement, then the shape will either get bigger or smaller. Um, bigger because of positive scale factors, um, bigger than one, and smaller because of fractional uh, scale factors, um, less than one and bigger than zero. Um, so it's got to be a translation. So we know that the word we're going to use here for describing the single transformation is translation. And then we've got to remember that with a translation we need a vector. So through vector. Now a vector is two numbers uh, where the top number tells you to go right or left and the bottom number tells you to go up or down. And if it's left, it will be a negative, and if it's down, it will be a negative. So let's remind ourselves what they wanted. They want to go from P to Q, so we must remember that means we're going in that direction, and then we're going down. So we've got to ask ourselves uh, what's happened here, and the best way to do this is to choose a single point. Um, so that point is going to go to there, so we can go along. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've gone six to the right, so that's positive. And then we've gone one down. Um, so that's going to be a negative, so a negative one. So the translation uh, will take uh, P to Q through the vector of six, negative one. So six, negative one is the vector needed. Again, it's always worthwhile writing down the four translation, uh, transformations possible, four transformations that are possible going through each one logically and asking yourself, can it be that, can it be that, and then uh, concluding which one it is. Single means do write down one of those words only. Don't ever mention the other ones, otherwise you get uh, zero marks for this question. And then recognize that with a translation, we do need to have a vector as well.